All right, Jim, thank you so much. I'm sitting here with two of my very good friends. Miss Sue Ham, as she's known to her friends, but uh, I guess we should give your legal name is Salandia Hammond. Yes, that's my government name. <laughs> that's your government name. And our friend Carrie Powell, who is always trying to get everybody back to work. Good to see both of you ladies today. What you're working on is making sure people understand that even out of the ashes, good things can happen. You have quite the motivational story. Yes, I do. Uh, you know, as I told Carrie, I'm a woman who's gone through so much. I was in the military, got divorced, lost all my earthly possessions, and uh, pretty much contemplated suicide. But it was when I was at my lowest, I realized, hey, I am here for a reason. It's time to get about living on purpose. And it was at that time when I decided to live on purpose that everything just began to fall into place. And there's a wonderful workshop that you're presenting this week. Yes, and I'm <laughs> excited to be presenting it with uh, the workforce in DSS. And uh, it is Eight Steps to Motivation and also encouraging you to live on purpose and follow your dreams. Carrie, why was it so important for workforce and DSS to partner with Ms. Sue Ham um, for this project? Well, we've got a lot of people in the community who are either long-term unemployed or even short-term unemployed or just looking for a change. And sometimes you get stuck in that rut. It just becomes a hard situation, even a depressing situation, as, yeah. as Sue had mentioned. And we need a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of motivation every once in a while to really get us in gear to get back out there and get back into work. So we've got eight steps to motivation and living on purpose. Give us at least two of them. Two. Well, the first and foremost, the most important is a goal. Because if you don't know what you're working, for then what are you working for you know and your goal can be to make more money to lose weight or it could be as little as saving the world and I just because the world is big but you have to have something to work for and then last but not least one of the other biggest one is meditate and pray because you've got to envision yourself see yourself getting there and prayer definitely renews your strength okay Carrie tell us where we're going and how we're going to be motivated when and how we get involved well it's gonna be this Thursday starting at 1 p.m. over at the Lexington Department of Social Services office the address for that is 1077 South Lake Drive. It's going to be in the conference room, and if you want to register ahead of time, we are taking some walk-ins there, but guarantee yourself a seat by registering. You can call me at 737-4471, or you can call Tammy James, who is our Lexington DSS rep, and she is at 785-2899. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Phones ringing off the hook already. People trying to get <laughs> to be a part of this. Thank you all so much, and awesome. I can't can't wait to hear what those other six steps are. We got two out of the eight. Awesome. Can't wait to hear what the other six are. Carrie, thank you. Thank Good you, seeing you. All right, folks, stay with us. There's more friends coming up after the break.